I am 19 weeks pregnant today, which is really shocking to me, even though I'm doing a, a vlog every week. I just, I don't know. I really lost um, track of time last week. <clears throat> I don't think I even did a belly shot on my, um, on my Facebook page. Just because I just totally, I don't know, I was busy. I, I had my um, four-year-old home because he was on spring break, but I know I mentioned that. And we tried to stay pretty busy. Um, so, changes this week. I don't really think I've been having any cravings. Food has kind of been depressing to me lately which is all related to the same thing. I'm home alone with a four-year-old who doesn't eat anything and a one-year-old who would eat dog food if she found it. So I really don't feel motivated to cook or anything. And so I think I go without eating more than I should. I'm really working on that this week, like making at least, making or buying at least three good meals a day. <clears throat> I've been tracking, like I said I was going to, like I've been tracking every day, but there were days I didn't eat dinner last week just because this, hard and uh, <clears throat> uh it's got a little bit depressing and I cried about it the other day I just needed to cry about something and everything everything that came up seemed to make me cry that night <clears throat> so it started off I was depressed and upset that I wasn't taking care of the baby well enough and then I started worrying about it and then I got online and saw a couple posts from a few friends that were really extra upsetting <laughs> when I was so emotional and so I just kept crying it was a little ridiculous um a couple nights ago I think it was Saturday so 18 weeks and like, I don't know, four days or something. Uh, my little girl's tearing uh, DVD boxes apart. <laughs> um, yeah, so a few days ago, around 18 and a half weeks, I had my hand on my stomach and I felt a kick with my hand. <clears throat> it was really exciting, and I've felt kicks that I know were strong enough if I had had my hand on there, I would have felt it since then, and I really am looking forward to my husband feeling the baby kick, <laughs> but, you know, you never know when it's going to kick or where it's going to kick. <clears throat> um, I've also... Like, for a few weeks, I've been having, like, the feeling like my uterus is floating around. Like, it's not staying down where it belongs, but it'll, like, be up kind of by my ribs. And I don't know if that's really the case or if I just am going crazy or something. But last night, it seemed to get up in my ribs, and it was painful, like, baby feet jamming on your ribs. If you've been pregnant, you probably understand that pain. But it just wouldn't go away and I couldn't sleep anymore. I'm making sure she's only ruining one case. <laughs> um, did I mention cravings? I don't think, I think I thought, it, well I know I thought about it in the when I started my video, but I don't know if I mentioned it. I haven't really had any. Yesterday, I was 
so determined that I was going to eat not if not healthy just eat well I guess um, that I loaded the kids up last night and we went and picked up Arby's I love Arby's my husband doesn't <laughs> um, I bought two meals one was for my daughter because she eats a lot when she eats <clears throat> um, and she ate about half of it and then I had the rest this morning which might be disturbing to some people I really don't like leftovers but Arby's in the toaster oven with lots of horsey sauce yum <laughs> um I wish I had, I, I think I have like two more packets of horsey sauce. I wish I had something to eat them with. That's not really a craving though. I just love horsey sauce all the time. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm trying to, I don't know. So I did a picture on my Facebook page yesterday and labeled it 19 weeks just because I wanted a picture for something else um, that showed how far along I was, like baby bump wise. And it doesn't look different today, it just looks cuter because the stripes. I love stripes when pregnant. <laughs> they make bumps look cute or and bigger, in my opinion. <laughs> Too low, squat down. I feel really fat, but looking at it, it looks pretty baby bumpish. I haven't weighed recently. Maybe I'll do that. So yeah, I just weighed real quick and I've gained two pounds in the last week. Which is kind of creepy since I wasn't eating good last week. But I did eat good yesterday. So maybe I gained two pounds yesterday. Probably not. <laughs> um, there was something else that I thought of while I was weighing myself. Oh. Um, I pulled my maternity clothes out. Oh, several weeks ago. But I haven't really been wearing them all that much. The shorts the maternity shorts because it's getting warmer and um, I have some from when I was pregnant with my son when I was smaller I also have some from when I was pregnant with my daughter and I was bigger <laughs> so there's a couple pairs that seem kind of big they're falling down and there's the jeans I bought when I was pregnant with my daughter that are incredibly comfortable. Almost a little too short, but I'm sh a short person, so I can't wear it like regular. They're like ridiculously long, but they're so comfortable and they finally fit. Like I'm not constantly pulling them up. And I noticed that um, sometime last week, I put them on to wear and then decided on shorts instead. And then, so, like, yesterday was the first time I've worn them this week. And they're so comfortable. I love them. I'm not thrilled with how much money I spent on them. Or the fact that I had to re-hem the top. On, that the sewing came undone. Which seems to happen a lot on my clothes. I don't know why. And my husband pointed out one of his shirts was coming unsewn along the bottom. I was like, that happens to my shirts all the time. And he's like, well, it's the first shirt it's ever happened to me on. So I buy crappy clothes or something. That's kind of depressing. Oh, I don't know if anybody who watches my um, vlog is very crunchy. But the other day I was thinking, I remember reading or hearing somewhere like you don't darn your socks so when they get a hole in them get rid of them 
which is great because that way you don't have a ridiculous amount of socks with holes in them that you're not wearing because they're uncomfortable but I don't like that much stuff going into the landfills especially when it's still good so if you know anything to do with socks which seems really bizarre um growing up my mom would give me one of my dad's socks with oatmeal in it because I had ex eczema really bad when I was little so she would give me a, a sock with oatmeal in it for in the bathtub and I've done that a few times and for some reason it really bothers my husband to have oatmeal in the bathtub so he's always throwing them out so I can't really do that and I only need one if I were going to do that I don't need a bunch of them and his socks all have holes in them and I want to do something with them besides throw them in the landfill all right <laughs> that was really pretty random and most of you will probably think I'm psycho but okay bye